to uh, to gather. So here's a cemetery, hypothetically. Now this is hypothetically, and this was in for a split second. You could build yourself a shovel. How horrible is this, right? I love the mindset. So I would just go do do do. Hey, here's a graveyard. Now I think uh, duelists should get special benefits when uh, when dealing with stuff like this. But see, uh, I don't have a runestone shovel. I can dig up dead bodies. And then as the pieces that I find... Oh, look, here's an elvish arm. I'm going to put that in my backpack. You never know when I'll need it. You could eventually stitch together a zombie... And then using magic, turn that in the magic of necromancy, turn that into a vessel... And so when X creature dies or whatever, when this duelist dies uh, long term, maybe then I want to come back into a different vessel. Yeah, PVE is mainly there for uh, allowing us to have stuff around our kingdoms. Because again, what's the use? I, I know uh, someone referenced SB, Shadowbane. And uh, I understand the concept of Shadowbane, where it was fighting for fighting's sake. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I realize that's very useful, and there are a lot of people passionate about that. I, on the other hand, um, if I'm going to fight for something, I want to win something. I want to win something. I need to put it somewhere. And so uh, the Eternal Kingdom is where you'll go statues and trophies and loot and stuff. Now, you'll never drop any equipment. So again, here's... I'm I'm mining and it makes noise it's actually making a noise and you see how how often it goes the big brown circle here boom another one um that again seen from a distance so that right there is mining ore these right here are hilarious now i don't have anyone on with me right now but see this big big thing Watch this. See how it shows two bodies hold the harvest? Now watch the red bar. See how I do damage on it? But the problem being is it's a neat, uh, it's a neat mechanic to force group harvesting. Nodes are nothing more than place things to attack. You attack a tree with an axe. You attack uh, uh, this iron node or tin node. They have what's called their, their hit point recharge mechanics. As an individual, even with a gold item, with a gold axe or whatever, I'm not able to do enough sustainable damage to this thing versus when it's self-healing for me to make a dent. But two of us attacking at the same time would be able to drive the damage down, damage the node, loot comes out. Now, jewelry and stuff like that, I believe, and if there's someone on the stream that knows more about it than I do, please chime in. I'm not that type of streamer. I am more. Um, you don't see anything here yet about jewelry, but uh, there are, you know, the ability to loot those big things, I believe, is where we're going to possibly find gems or items or something that maybe we can turn in something useful. I sure hope. So the only thing I haven't done, you know, we've done stone, we've done wood, we've done... Okay, let's go find a creature. I don't know. There's not a lot of them uh, right now. Okay, I'm going to cheat. Now you've seen me dig in the dirt. Now I'm going to cheat. Not cheat, but... See how I feel like I move a little faster? up on the surface in the ghost right now. So to find uh, creatures, they're usually near, not far from the blue uh, the blue crystal stuff. The problem right now is uh, creatures can also be randomly found just in the world. They're all right now is just nothing but Hellcats. Um, which is funny, because the Hellcat hide right now is it allows you to find, uh, uh, is a stealth mechanic when you do it. but. See, I'm getting a feeling. You see how I see that siege material over there? I, I guess we could find NPCs around that versus the creatures, but we'll see. If I can find a creature, we will do some combat. But 
I suck at combat, so that will be funny. Um, yeah, here we go. There's creatures here. At least if I remember this one right. I've been through this area quite a bit. Unless somebody's already killed them all. Hi, copper. Uh, there's a copper node. See how there's some nice sheen to this? Based on the sun, see how you can get some glare off of it? I think it's, it's, done, it's done well. You know, I mean... Come on, creatures. Ah, oh, there's one. Now, there's a bug right now that's keeping them up there. See how his tail's moving? Um... So, now remember, I'm underground, even though I don't look. Uh, yeah, I avoid the PvP and the gold. It's not worth it. I can get plenty of gold from the chests, so there's not really need. So here's my distance. See, I'm at 16 meters. So I'm going to sneak my way in, because I'm underground. And I'm going to go jump up and use the 2 mechanic. And see how he's nice and locked up there right now. I know that makes me a, a cheater, but uh, I just want to—I just want to skin him for you. See, there's another one right over there. So, do to do, so I can get up close. But you know he's locked. But he did some damage. See now, when they do that, they do a ah. See, I got him off there. So now I can do some kiting. So, see, I wait for him to do his zone in attack. See how that red flash? He jumps, and then I can get him back on me, and I can back out. Come on, do your jump at me. Come on. Come on. There he's going to do his jump. Boom. Then I just get him with my pistol. No, finish him off with my sword. See, there's another one running free. So I'm going to loot him. And then it requires a knife to harvest. So right now, um, creatures, these creatures are giving hide, which of course, you know, the bears, the blah, 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 are needed. Um, look, it went to red. So that is just a piece of crappy knife that I created, not a, a nice one. Um... These are great places to hide, by the way, um, if you're a duelist. You know, uh, if you can find yourself some, some good cover. See how busy everything is here? See how we got a nice fireplace fire right here? See how the resting is coming in? So. But uh, I, hiding in a jumble like this... Uh, because I'm in the ground and I'm throwing up these bits of pebbles, if you can shove, you know, deep grass or something like that is a great place to hide for a second as a duelist because it's harder for them to see those uh, kind of mechanics, you know, the popping, the pop rock mechanic as you'd go by. So real quick, um, here is the big cat meat. So on big cat meat, you need big cat meat for... Savage, you know, you need two pieces of it to cook up. I only got one. You need four pieces of it to create your own cooking fire. Right? So, let's go... See how nice this four is, though? But again, if you want to find duelists... I can't believe I'm saying this out loud. I can guarantee you that most duelists move mound to mound, trees to trees. You see that big flat area out there ahead of me? Yes, I can move pretty fast through that area. But the problem is, as, I'm, as someone else is running by and they see a dirt clod with sparkle dusts, with uh, pop rocks across the ground running across that, it's just more noticeable. So most of the duelists that I've actually popped on and seen have all kind of got into the concept of using um, natural mechanics to hide. So I want to go show you my white whale. 
Um, I may be able to do it now. So this is going to be the last thing in my stream. Because I was just going to... But I, I want to go find it before I craft it. Can you see that huge tree up on the hillside? It's a yew tree. So right now I, I did an article for MMO Central on, you know, kind of gathering mechanics. And I used horrible puns and I apologize. But, um, you know, there are, there are a bunch of different trees around. Here's another yew tree down here too. They're beautiful trees, first of all. I mean, here you've got knotwoods, you've got birch, you've got oak, you've got spruce. You've got all these different pieces. But the yew tree here, it looks different. You know what I mean? Doesn't that just look different? So um, they're only in this centralized area kind of right now where, for me, I, I've kind of stay in very limited areas. Um, and then you make uh, so right now, I'll, 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 you know, I have a decent axe on. So let me watch this. So slow. So let's go back underground here real quick and let's go and create a quick rune for harvesting tools. So first things first, wood stone blank. I know I've got spruce. Spruce is a nice piece of wood. I have... Oh, snap! That's because I don't have pots on right now. There's my lots of durability. Take. So we're going to do the axe. And so parch paper, gold. Hopefully no one's killing me outside right now. We'll see. And then, so, let's go put together our... Gold Axe. See, that's over 600 durability. So each time I take a hit on a tree, the tree has inherent properties, just like when you damage someone's armor. The tree has armor. The more that you chop into the tree, the more damage it does to your items. It kind of makes sense. I mean, why would you only ever buy one axe? So, but let's look here. See, uh, if you damage something, you see how the tree's damaged? It takes a long time for the trees to respawn, unless they're the mother nodes, right? Unless they're the big nodes, uh, there's really nothing you can do other than, you know... Uh, get more people. But let's see, let's take the damage here. So now I have a golden axe. Of course, I haven't equipped it. There, there we go. Alt. Big chunks. And a single piece of you wood. That's just painful. But again, that's the difference right now. We're not spending any of our, really, uh, a lot of our skills. We're just basically leveling up our skills. At the long-term part of the game is for us to eventually, you know, someone like me, I'm going to spend my skills in as much of my gathering and my gathering outcomes and my crafting outcomes as, a, let's say, you know, Nikki or Phil or uh, Little Knight or Chief Sarkon, one of those people may spend it on combat stuff or stealth stuff or whatever. So let's take a look. So the reason why I mentioned about watching for damaged trees and stuff, see, look at that, isn't that hilarious? Can you see me? So I'm just standing, right? I mean, that's, that's the mechanic. So, uh, so you can kind of see me when I'm underground. Um, oh, yay! But again, they'll they'll take stuff away from us. Um, so if you you know it's bad. So right now it's not bad for me to hide up in here. But there are 